What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel. If you're new here, I make all sorts of different content. Lately, I've done a lot of unboxings, but basically my channel is anything and everything lifestyle. So recipes, makeup hauls, regular hauls, day in the lives, you name it. So if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel get recognized. So let's actually get into what you're really here for, right? <laughs> So today I am unboxing my first ever, not only first ever mystery box from Jeffree Star, but my first purchase from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I've never tried any of his products before and I've always told myself if I'm going to do it, I really kind of want to do it through a mystery box because I actually have no idea where to start. Every time I've checked or I've tried to go get one, they've always sold out. And the winter mystery boxes, um, it was really weird. I, I guess I was like scrolling around on Instagram. I went to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics page and I noticed that they were still for sale. So I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to do it. I've always missed the opportunity. I'm just going to do it. So I ended up ordering the deluxe box, but here's the thing. So I guess Jeffrey's webs or Jeffrey offers free shipping if it's over 125, I think. And I believe the box was 120. So I didn't hit the threshold. And if you know me personally, one of my biggest, biggest, biggest things that I hate about the digital and online world we live in is purchasing things online and having to pay for shipping. I hate paying for shipping. It's seriously, I will avoid it at any cost. So that's what I did. This was also for sale. This is just this small box. Um, so I ended up adding this to my cart because shipping for just the deluxe box was $17 and this was 25. So I'm like, I'd rather put the money and spend a little extra towards this and actually get something other than shipping. So I'm going to unbox the deluxe box first because that is what I was planning on purchasing. These are no longer for sale. They were a few days after I had purchased my purchased it, but they are not anymore. So I apologize that you can't get this if you're interested, but I did get these and I wasn't going to film it, but at the same time, this is like my pure first reaction to anything Jeffree Star. A Jeffree Star mystery box, a Jeffree Star lipstick, whatever that is in this box, it is my first impressions. It came in this, I have it over there and I'm not going to get up and get it because that's a lot of work. But it came in a big white box and it was super, super nicely packaged. Um, there was a bunch of tissue paper and then inside was the deluxe box and then obviously the small box. Um, the one thing I will note just because this is my first impression is it took a very long time to ship. In fact, I had to reach out to them because when I purchased the order, it did say like it takes up to 12 business days to start shipping. Totally get it. It's COVID. I live in St. Louis where the restrictions are a little bit better. But California, my sister lives there. I understand that they have a lot higher restrictions than we do. I'm sorry, my dog got his bone stuck under the couch. One sec. As I was saying, I understand because California does have higher restrictions than a lot of other places. So I, I wasn't upset or anything, but it had passed that 12 business day threshold. In fact, it was more in like the 20 business day threshold. So I'm like, okay, I need to contact them because one, I'm excited about this, but two, it is 120. I think the entire total was 150 something. So it is a big purchase. And I would, if I'm not going to get the box, then I would like to have the money back. Anyways, so I contacted them. I heard back within 24 hours and they had shipped my product out. And yeah, that, I mean, that was... I had a really good experience. Their customer service was really, really nice. Pulled other three things out and then I see in the corner of my eye something that says the gloss. So if anyone knows me, I am a huge gloss person. I do not like liquid lipsticks. When those were a big thing when it came to Kylie's lip kits and um, the Anastasia 
liquid lipsticks. I tolerated them, but I really didn't like it. And I am so glad that so many companies have come out with a gloss because I feel like I'm actually thriving. So this is the gloss. It's in the shade Mouthful. See that? Okay. So this is really nice packaging. I love the color. I think this is from the Orgy collection. Again, I've never ordered anything, but I have always just kind of followed along. So, okay. Shake this up a little bit. This is really pretty. Shoot. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. So I've seen these in pictures, but like holding it in real life is really cool. Like this is very, very nice packaging. I really appreciate when brands go over and above on packaging. This is what the doe foot looks like. Very, very nice. It is slanted. Um, I'm still so impressed with this top. Like it's, it looks like one of those um, table, I, I forgot what they're called, but that you would spin around and yeah. I, my grandmother had some of those uh, growing up and I remember playing with them. That is what it looks like. It is very just clear. I think a lot of it is um, me showing it up on the lights is kind of hard to see, but it is very just clear. I'm gonna put a little bit on. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. I feel like I can't ever like not like a gloss. The only time I like don't like a gloss is if it's like sticky, icky, icky. It's sticking in your teeth, it's sticking on your straw. Again, I don't feel like I can go wrong with any sort of gloss because I love gloss. I believe these are the new Velvet Trap lipsticks. This is in the shade Hot Commodity. This, I, I talked about the gloss packaging being amazing. All right, this looks like a bullet. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it is very, very heavy, very heavy. Wow, does this, is this magnetic? Ah! Ah! Not gonna lie, this kind of looks like something I should not be talking about on the internet. This is a hot pink color. Oh my gosh, you can even see these stars in it. Like that is so pretty, wow. I don't think I will wear this. Like this is not a crazy, that I work in a corporate environment right now, I, live, I work at home, but I would not wear this on an everyday basis, but this is really, really pretty. And I think especially during the summertime or if we're allowed, I mean, we can, but when we start vacationing again, this would look really, really good with like a summer dress or something. I did just swatch it. It is so creamy and smooth. Wow, that is really, really pretty. Okay, cool. I'm two out of two for this already. That's very exciting. This is a floor lip liner. And like I said, in the shade Scorpio. This pink packaging is just like giving me the vibes. I love pink. It's not my favorite color. My favorite color is teal, but it's it's close. I think it would come in second. This is like really hard to get out. Oh, it's stuck on something. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's got the cool oh, top too. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is really pretty really pretty so this is the shade scorpio Let's see how this looks Ooh, that's pretty again this is not probably an everyday shade for me um but this is more so something i would wear in the fall especially with going out to dinner or anything like this i would definitely could see myself grabbing for this and then gravitating towards some of my darker lipsticks and lip products i believe this is a liquid lipstick like I said, I hate liquid lipsticks. I'm not, I'm gonna open this just to see what it looks like, but I'm not going to keep it because I'm just not going to use it. I really don't, I, I, I just tolerated them for the time that they were very, very popular. And now that I feel like gloss has make it, made a comeback and there are just so many other options, like 
I don't even want to reach for these because I don't find them comfortable. I lick my lips 24-7 and I feel like they always come off. Like no matter if it's a good product or not, I just I just tend to stay away from them. So this is Unicorn Blood. It is really, really pretty. This is a dark, dark red. This would be a really, really good fall color, but I think it also would look really good in the summer with like a teal, blue, orange, red type sundress. This would look really, really pretty. The next thing I see, I'm pretty sure this is a palette. This is the Orgy palette. So if I were to order any Jeffree Star products, there were two things that I really, really wanted to try or I wanted to order. And the first one was the Blood Money collection. I think mostly because I'm just like so drawn to the packaging. But like the probability of me wearing all those shades is really slim too. But I just love the packaging. I love the concept, the names. It's so, so cute. But the other thing was the Orgy palette because this is such a neutral, neutral palette. Literally, it has every sort of shade that I could get away with wearing to work. So I'm really excited to get this. I was kind of wondering what I was going to get. I figured I was going to get an eyeshadow palette. I was hoping it wasn't something crazy in colors. So I am really, really excited to get this. This is, this packaging is just unreal. Oh, Jeffrey, oh my gosh, these, <laughs> wow, wow. That is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't. I'm dead. Wow. So this is like a perfect all year round palette. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, and this, I'm not going to show because I'm just going to show my house and it's a mess. But this mirror is really, really hefty duty. This is, he, I mean, he really kills it with the packaging. Like, I haven't tried the products yet, obviously, but 10 out of 10 on the packaging because this is really cool. Next thing I see is this pig. And I believe this is from the Shane Dawson um, Jeffree Star collab. I'm not sure what's inside, but this is a heavy, really heavy box. I don't have any ill towards Shane or Jeffree, but I probably, depending on what's in here, I may not keep it because it's just not me and my style. And I'm sure there's somebody else out there that could use this or want this. So. Oh! <laughs> Before I even opened it, I was already saying, I think somebody else can use this. And yes, someone else can use this because it's all liquid lipsticks. Wow. Okay. These are really pretty though. This Rylan shade is speaking to me and this, oh my God, wow. These are really pretty. Man, I wish this was in lipstick form or like lip liner or gloss, gloss. I'm really tempted to want to save this because this is so pretty. So this is the shade Ryland. Wow. This is like Barbie pink and I love Barbie. I love Barbie. I believe this is the last thing in my box. And this is, I think a t-shirt um, because they did ask for your size. I got a size large just because I like some oversized things. I'm normally a medium, but um, yeah, I don't think I knew what was going to be in here. So I just figured a large was better. Anyways, okay, so this is a t-shirt. This is a long sleeve t-shirt. Wow, this is so cute. So down the sleeve, there are these like little stripes in teal and pink. I'm thriving because these are my favorite colors. And then on the back, it's like a really, really pretty snowflake. That is very cool. And it feels like a very heavy, not like one of those like Gildan or whatever they are t-shirts. Like this feels really, really heavy and nice and thick, which is perfect for here in St. Louis because <laughs> right now it's snowing. So that's very cool. I'm excited about this. This is really, really cute. So that is my deluxe box. Overall, I'm really, really happy in it. I got something that I wanted. I really, really like this t-shirt. So before this video gets 
let's unbox the small box so this was $25 like I said um, the plan was not to purchase it because I, I wasn't planning on like I said again I wasn't planning on purchasing this but I did not want to pay $17 for shipping and not get anything out of it in terms of products so I purchased this paid a little more and got this here is the packaging it's this nice teal and white very pretty very aesthetic I see a gloss okay okay again I'm going straight for the gloss um so this is the shade beaded glass oh my goodness this is so pretty wow oh my gosh okay see that it's kind of hard to see with my lights but that's really pretty wow cool i'm excited i got two glosses that's really exciting so there were three products in there to uh, total i don't know if i said that so the next thing is the velour lip scrub oh cool this is in the shade watermelon gum or flavor i guess it smells exactly like watermelon and it actually it sounds like uh smells like that watermelon gum that i used to eat growing up i don't remember the name but i'm gonna find a picture and i'm gonna insert it so you know what i'm talking about i don't want to like because i don't want this stuff all over me but that looks really nice i bet i mean i shouldn't be eating it but i like my lips 24 7 so about to happen and this is the last product <laughs> liquid lipstick um this is in the shade family jewels very pretty um yeah it's just not me so i, I i'm excited i'm really excited i want to go watch i've been telling myself not to watch the other videos because i wanted to see what i got in mine first uh, comment down below if you purchased one of these and what you got okay that's it so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video